I'm now going to talk about the plantaris muscle, which is this muscle here. The name for this muscle comes from the Latin planta, meaning sole of the foot. The plantaris muscle is a fine rope-like muscle running next to the larger Achilles tendon. Its function is to work with the Achilles to flex the ankle and knee joint by extending from the outside lateral back of the femur, allowing you to stand on your toes or point your foot. The plantaris starts just above the lateral head of the gastrocnemius muscle and runs beneath the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles located near the inner medial border of the Achilles tendon and attaches to the medial side of the calcaneus, heel bone. Trigger points may appear in the belly of the muscle with pain referred down the calf and sometimes as far as the big toe. Superficial diffuse calf pain from plantaris trigger points may be accompanied by swelling of the muscle. The popliteal artery can be entrapped by the soleus and plantaris muscles or by the Achilles tendon fascia. Symptoms of popliteal artery entrapment include rapid fatigue of the calf and muscle cramp. When the plantaris is tight and swollen from trigger points and entrapment, a pillow or support under the knees can cause pain. These trigger points may cause paresthesias such as numbness or tingling on the surface of the foot. They can activate while the plantaris is being heavily used, such as when running on an incline or jumping, and occur more often in athletes. Plantaris trigger points are often misdiagnosed as Achilles tendonitis. Prompt and effective treatment of the trigger points, if they are the sole cause of the pain, will result in prompt and effective pain relief. Other causes of pain in the plantaris may be from poor orthotics, post-fracture, prolonged driving, sports such as running, soccer, climbing and swimming, high-heeled shoes and sitting with your leg resting on a chair or table. Balls and pressure tools should not be used by someone who is inexperienced as the muscle is deep and there are many superficial and deep veins in the area. Stretching is excellent for disabling trigger points in the calf muscles. General advice would be to change footwear, change and vary the running technique and running surface, and avoid high-heeled shoes. Also recommended are leg rests at home and at work, regular stretching, a massage after sports, and warm up before and cool down after exercise.